There is no good guy. There is no side to choose. There is no hero. There is no villain. It's all fairy tale propaganda selling you a tale, a story. This is the mind control fake stream media trick that has been consistent for a long, long time. The Hegelian dialect to divide people and get them on side playing on their innate desire for connectivity, to feel like they belong to a group by getting them to collectively oppose a manufactured enemy, the big bad boogeyman, who has a manufactured hero to oppose him within the framework of a story. A story that is created to engage you, so you get to choose, so you choose a side. Manufacture a hero, manufacture a villain, attempt to create myths and stories about them, and provoke you to engage by picking a side. Tell me a time when this has not been done, and it's all to control you and manipulate what you think and manipulate your future choices and acceptances, okay? Now looking again through the video clips, the news released over this Ukraine-Russia thing, it's not becoming any clearer, and maybe that's the point, maybe that's what they are trying to achieve, a mass information overload of misinformation. So anyway, scrolling through videos and photographs, through social media of this recent event, which is being pushed aggressively by the media, still so many of the images and footage are taken from years ago, and they're masquerading as now. It's impossible for anyone to determine what the hell is going on. You can watch 24 hour live streams of Ukraine on YouTube of different areas, and it looks Perfectly calm, quiet, traffic is normal, nothing is going on. And then you have people posting videos of complete carnage and claiming it's in Kiev. I've seen some people translating some Ukrainian group chats and they sounded as confused as anyone else and unsure of what's going on. One saying that it's so quiet in Kiev and wondering where have all the police gone? and people claiming that authorities have fled the country. Another saying how they drove around Kiev and it was so quiet. They say people stand in line in pharmacies and shops and they say the goal is to make people leave by means of pain, it says here. And they say the sheep still didn't get anything. They show us the image of a virtual enemy, but people don't see the one in front of their own eyes. So I don't know, has it been translated correctly? You can check them out, uh, I posted them on my Twitter page if you want to see them. And again, if we look at the problem, reaction, uh, solution, strategy, well, one of the reactions we are seeing a lot of, one of the reactions that these control freaks are already acting upon is that loads of countries are saying that they will accept refugees. Here we see, EU will ask states to grant asylum to Ukrainian refugees for up to three years. So at the moment, one of the big reactions is displacement. Here's another. EU readies for refugees as UN warns war may displace 7 million. Poland and Hungary opened their borders to receive families fleeing invasion. The United Nations has estimated that the war could affect 18 million people displacing some 7 million within the country while causing 4 million to flee abroad. Back in September, you had the Afghan refugees. So we've got a lot of people moving around. I mean, look at all these people who were out protesting yesterday. You couldn't get that many people out to protest six months after the lockdown started. And all of this lot here yesterday are out just after a few days of seeing these reports, reports with unconvincing footage, Never mind all the other wars going on around the world. Oh no, don't care about them. Your mummy and daddy mainstream media, don't put them on the front page any other time. So no, they've got no interest in that. They're ignorant of them, but bombard people with vague, dubious images and grainy footage, which a lot now have been shown to be fake and stories that turned out to be not fully correct. And loads of people go out and protest in an instant. Protests in Brussels, in Paris, in London, all of them outstanding with Ukraine, all because they believe everything the media tells them. And I'm seeing loads of those uh, rainbow flags out for, for some reason. What are they doing there? I don't know. But it once again shows how powerful the fake stream media is and how easily people are influenced. 
In this case, from my personal point of view, the footage so far is anything but conclusive. And it's not just me questioning it, there are many others as well, and suspicions have been proven correct, with so much of the footage having been proven fake. What with the video game footage on the news, the BBC military flyover footage, which turned out to be from last year, the image of the photograph of Zelensky in the army gear, in the news stories, but was taken from last year, I've seen many a commentator and alternative commentator over the last few days start regurgitating the MSM stories sounding like an echo of the BBC with their pomp and propaganda verbatim only to be called out only to be called out by their followers saying why are you not questioning this dubious footage? Why are you suddenly believing what the MSM is telling you? And rightly so, they're questioning them which has seen these commentators swiftly change tack and apologize, which is interesting to watch. I've also started to see numerous news outlets start doing this analyzing the strategic placement of the Russian troops, you know, using maps and arrows saying, well, they will be circling Kiev, east-west, coming in from here, coming in from there. How the hell would they know where anyone is or anyone's army is going to be? If this was all for real, how would they know? I think when you see this type of carry on, this type of analysis with maps and strategies and placement of armies, it's an attempt to reinforce the notion that it's really happening. But the fact is, they don't know what or where anyone is going. I think I'm pretty sure they would be keeping their uh, positions secret. So that's another, in my opinion, another illusion on top of another illusion in, in order to make you think in a certain way, a bit like many of these fake videos and images that have been circulating on social media. Look, there's, there's no good guy, there's no bad guy, right? Some guy commented on one of my videos saying that I was a Putin supporter. I'm not a supporter of any of these puppet tyrants. There are no heroes, there are no good guys in these media stories. They're, they're just myths perpetuated for suckers to be taken in with in order to provoke you to engage with their ongoing games, which are to everyone's detriment. Stand up for your country is a myth perpetuated to get people to sacrifice themselves to make bankers gain more wealth by lending money to countries to buy more weapons. The truth is, you, you're the hero. You look after yourself and those closest to you. You're the good guy or good girl. Don't be misled by these spellcasters in the media who write, who attempt to spell out to people their imaginary reality. They want you to believe in it. And if they get enough people to believe in it, then it, it may manifest into actual reality with their spells, disengage from the story, walk out of the theater, switch it off, mute the volume button. They are always trying to get you to choose a side and then pass judgment on the other side. And they always use deceptive means and distorted messages to provoke and engage you. The media is the mightiest weapon that is being used against us.